um, the night before Easter. So I hope you are ready to be um, grateful tomorrow for the things that happened. All right, I am going to just double check that I am live over here. It looks like I am, but I'm going to do a really quick refresh since it says it's waiting on me. All right, here we go. I have a very non-Easter card for you. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Probably I wasn't thinking at all, which is entirely possible. That just happens to me all the time. Hey, Marva. Appreciate you joining. So this comes from the Your Biggest Fan set, which is in the mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog. And it is a slimline card, which is not something that I do a lot of, but... I feel more comfortable doing them these days because of the slimline envelopes, which if you've been looking in your catalog, your new catalog, the 2022 to 2023, these made the cut. So you'll be able to get slimline envelopes in white and soft succulent, I believe it is, um, when the new catalog comes out. Hello, Judy and Faith and Brooke and Janie and Kathy Fennell. I appreciate you guys joining me. All right, one thing that's kind of cool about this, although I have decorated the envelope flap because that's just what I do, the insides actually are already decorated for you. And uh, I think that's kind of cool, really. I, I like the fact that they have taken my advice and no naked envelopes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Everything will be on my blog tomorrow, so you don't even need to take notes. Um, unless, you know, you really like to take notes, which, you know, you do you, man. Okay, so I have, I'm going to put my envelope away. I have got a basic, uh, no, not a basic. It's a Bumblebee card base. And ba this is seven inches wide by eight and a half inches long. And then I scored and folded it at three and a half, which makes a three and a half by eight and a half inch card, which fits perfectly in the slimline envelope. Okay, hey, Carol. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Debbie and Annette and Rachel. Hello, everybody. I appreciate you guys joining. Hey, Jean. Ah, Hagerstown, Maryland on a lovely spring day. We had overcast, but that's okay. You know, I mean, it's okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I've got some of the uh, DSP called Hay Sports Fan. It's part of the suite. And I'm going to take this cute little die right here, and I'm only going to take one at a time because that way I can be sure they're lining up. But there are actually two, so if you're really good and you wanted to use a sticky note to hold it in place, you could do that. Um, but I am not going to because why would I do that? And I'm going to take my mini and I am going to use, what I'm going to do is cut, hmm, hang on a second, I just set it down. I'm going to cut this. This cuts not all the way through, but it creates this chevron. It's kind of like an embossing, but it cuts, okay? So you are going to use a die cutting sandwich on whatever cutting machine you're using. You're going to use a die cutting sandwich. So I'm going to set my mini up here. And I have my white plate, which is the number one plate for the die cutting. And then I'm going to set my piece of the Hay Sports fan in there. And I'm going to line this up just at the edge. I mean, it's not like rocket science. It doesn't really matter exactly where it is. And then I'll just set my, um, well, I'm going to make sure that's actually straight when it still is in there. I hope one of these days we'll get a magnetic plate for the mini because I really like them. Otherwise, I'm going to have to just go for it and get out a sticky note. Okay, so then I'm going to run this through like so. And I'm only running it back for, you know, expedience sake. And there, you can see what it's done. And when I put it on its poppy parade mat, you can just barely see that through there. So then I will flip it, and I'm going to do the same die cut on the opposite kitty corner. All right. Hi, Mary. Hi, Sandra. Appreciate you coming. Hey, Julie. I'm glad you're on, too. Hey. Debbie, it's a really fun set. Um, it's really good for masculine cards or... Even just not frou-frou cards, if that makes sense. I mean, yeah, it's got a baseball theme, but, you know, baseball is just kind of like, I mean, you know, it's like putting apple pie on something, right? It's it's just, an, the, it's just the thing we do here. All right. And there we go. I'll just run that out, and then I'm going to put this away. I'm going to have it, I'll have it back here in just a second for another piece, but... We don't need it quite yet, so I'll get it out the way. 
and save my dye. And so then I'm going to take some liquid glue and adhere this to, hey Lenny, adhere this to a poppy parade mat. I love poppy parade. I don't know what it is about this color, but it is my favorite red ever. And it really goes well. Uh, this is not like my normal color palette. This is a little primary for me, but I like it in with the bumblebee and the poppy parade. It just tones down that bright just a little bit. So I like that, but I got a little glue right there. So let me get my rubber out. Right? Skateboarding. Yeah. Skateboarding would be good. Sorry for the camera shaking, guys. I got to do what I got to do. One day, perhaps I'll have a ginormous mahogany desk that doesn't wiggle, but I don't have it right now. Okay, so there's that. Now, we've got some die cuts, and this is fun. The Hey Sports Fan set includes uh, two pieces of DSP that have dies in them. Hang on, let me get the other one to show you. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty fun DSP anyway, but when you add in the fact that you can cut out these banners with the die in the set, that just opens up a whole new ball of wax. And of course, you can always fussy cut the other banners as well. So, and they're, it's a pretty easy fussy cut. So what I did is I fussy cut, no, I used the, the die to cut uh, the Way to Go banner from the DSP. And then I did a little banner doha out of um, Knight of Navy, and that also has a die right here. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to the banner. Do you have to do that? No, but I saw it in the catalog, and it looked cute, so I did it. You know, if it's good enough for the really smart designers at Stampin' Up!, it is absolutely good enough for me. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right on there like that. It just adds kind of a finished touch, like the uh, like the pennant standard spot on a flag. And then I have I cut using this, which looks like a tear ticket. You know what a tear ticket is, where you buy a ticket, and this would be like if you had a raffle. So this would be your ticket to get in, and they would tear it like that, and it actually is perforated and tears. And then they would take this, and you would keep this in order to get, you know, a prize. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate these. I've got two of them. And I'm going to take this little stripedy number out of the Your Biggest Fan set. And I'm going to stamp a couple of fun little lines. Yes, exactly. If you don't have a doha on your banner, is it really a banner? I don't think so. So this is kind of random. Just going to, in Poppy Parade, Perhaps you recognize the color, because it would be weird at this point to use Poppy Parade and then Real Red. N not to say I wouldn't do it, because, you know, it's me. And then I'm just going to do the same on the other one. Like that. We'll set that aside. I didn't get a very good image there, but it'll be okay. Let's see, what else have I got? Okay. I cut some other things. I love this little die right here. This die cut this line of tickets from some Poppy Parade, and it's going to be part of my collage. And then this is going to be our background. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do it, to get it prepared is I'm going to use some Bumblebee ink. Now, you know, Bumblebee is one of the colors that is retiring. So if you don't have Bumblebee ink or a refill, you maybe can't even get a refill anymore, or cardstock, now would be a really good time to stock up. Just, you know, just throwing that out there. I'm just going to stamp this a few times, kind of randomly, in the corners, like so. Does this have any actual intrinsic value? No, other than it's cute and it's fun and... And I wanted to. Hey, Joyce, appreciate you coming. All right, so now let's put this back for a second back in my in my accoutrement bowl and pull out Mr. Mini again. And I'm going to put those same exact chevrons in the corners of this ticket. 
like so. Wherever those things are, that's where I'm putting my, my chevrons. So I'm gonna put some right there. Here's the other cutting plate. And it's still straight. It's not a doohickey. Hello, it's a do-ha. Doohickeys are for a whole nother thing, Rosie. Come on, man. All right, and then I'm just gonna flip it around. Again, there's two of these, so you could actually, in theory, do both of them at the same time. But if I, and if I could, you know, rub my head and pat my tummy all at the same time, I would. I would probably also have been a helicopter pilot if I could do that, but I can't, and so I wasn't. And so I'm just doing one at a time, just saying. Okay, here we go. All right, Mr. Otlight, quit your flickering. Quit your flickering. All right, now this legit is the last time I need this mini, so I'm going to set it all aside. Okay, so I kind of have my elements all ready to go, and so I'm going to do a little bit of a dry fit here. And I've got my banner, and I've got some tickets, and these tickets. And what I did with these guys is I just kind of played with their, like, their little perforations. There's literally perforations here, so you could actually take these apart. And I did use the literally correct, because there really actually are. And it's going to kind of lay like this, and I'm actually going to use a dimensional or two to kind of keep it popped up a little bit. And we'll have our tickets, and I'm gonna put the perforated side down, or in, depending on you know your point of view, like that, and then we're gonna go like that. And then this is gonna go across here, and I'm gonna have like a, a loopy loop uh, of twine from the, wait for it, very cool ba fan baker's twine, and I'm gonna use the uh, evening evergreen. So usually I only have three colors on a card. I tend to stay with three colors. This time I went all the way with four entire colors. Whoo, crazy talk. And I brought in the evening evergreen. Okay, so let's go ahead and start building here. Are helicopters harder to fly than planes by orders of magnitude? Yes, yes. Because I don't, if there's any helicopter pilots on here, please take no offense, but helicopters, aerodynamically speaking, no. They just beat the air into submission in order to fly. That's what they do. They beat the air into submission. It's a known thing. And so they're really not aerodynamically designed to do that. And it's very, very difficult to fly them. I think it is. I mean, that comes from my perspective of not flying them, but um, you really do kind of have to be able to rub your head and pat your tummy all at the same time. Okay, I'm just using some liquid glue to adhere my little tickets into place. I think I might save this one and do it last after I get everything else on. That seems like the prudent way to go. So, all righty. I am going to take a glue dot, a glue dot, and I'm going to tear that off because it was in my way, and put the glue dot right here and use that to wind my twine, to wind my twine. I'm gonna twine my winding twine right here. And I'm gonna use this to make like a bow, but it's not a bow, of course. It's just really a figure eight in a bowish kind of shape like that. Okay. And obviously you can make it as big or as small as you want. I think that might be a little bit carried away, Mary. A little bit carried away, Mary. Let's pull that down a little bit, too. There we go. That looks like about a perfect size right there. That's about the perfect size. I know, Daryl, the new colors are awesome. The new colors are just awesome. Okay, so there we have a little bow. And then that uh, ticket, ticker tape. Maybe this is ticker tape. I don't know. I don't think it's ticker tape, but it, that sounded good. I'm going to put a dimensional on the one, the first one in on both ends. And then that's just gonna kinda give it a little bit of oomph right there, okay? 
Not a lot. I don't want a lot of oomph because I want my, my banner to kind of lay down, but I want it to be raised up a little bit. Did that make sense? Hmm. Yes. Don't forget to... Oh, yes. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. All right. So get this kind of down there like that, and then I'm going to... What I'm wanting to do here is actually I kind of want to go under like that. Like that. But then again, I want to pull it far enough that this is not too terribly huge right there. Okay, and that can kind of go up. And it just gives the idea of some, some dimension, right? I mean, pretty straightforward stuff. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then I will go ahead and pop on my banner. My banner in a suitably jaunty fashion, like so. Again, with dimensionals, because yeah. Hey, Jean, appreciate you coming. I will put some dimensionals right on the card front. Like that. That ought to be enough. And if it isn't, I'm going to use my tweezers to stick another dimensional or two under there. Because that's how, it roll, how I roll. Have tweezers will dimensionalize. Let's pull that out just a little bit. You guys, don't be afraid to fix it. If you don't like how it's looking, fix it. It's it's just, it's paper, it's yarn, it's twine, it's ink. Just make it do what you want it to do. I'm just throwing that out there for your, for your edification, edification. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. I'm going to straighten my card out so that <laughs> whatever cattywampusness I have is on purpose. There we go, and I've caught enough. I'm gonna stick one more dimensional right there, right there, to kind of hold it all down. And, oops, oops. There we go, there. Now I can slide my little ticket under like that. We'll put him in like that, I think. That's good. With some more liquid glue. All right. <laughs> hey, Jan, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you made it at all. I appreciate that. And we'll stick that right there like that. Now, this is... I'm just going to, you know, toot my own horn here. Just saying. I thought this was kind of fun. This little die right here, when you run it through your die cutting machine, cuts this. Okay, so I did it twice. Once in Bumblebee, and I'm gonna put it on kind of like that right there. And then I did it again in basic white, and I'm going to fill in my gap with my basic white, like that, see? You see, are you picking up what I'm putting down? There we go. And now I'm going to first adhere my little bumblebee doha. Oh, I'm sorry. This actually is a doohickey. The other was a doha. This is a doohickey. Thank you. Get that in there before someone is confused. Rosie. Alrighty. And then we'll go ahead and put this in with some more liquid glue. That was like 77 times more liquid glue than I needed. But by golly, not even the Postal Service will be able to get that out of there. All right, and just a little bit of liquid glue here. You could also stick it in the center, but I like to I like to live on the edge like that. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I just thought that was too cute right there. I thought that was so cute. That's so cute. Okay. Now, on a spare piece of on a spare piece of <laughs> basic white, which it might look familiar to you. I cut that out and I did not need it. I am going to locate my, there we go. Here's my, your amazing sentiment. And I'm going to stamp it in Evening Evergreen. I'm going to do a test stamp because I did recently, like today, re-ink my ink pad. And I want to be sure I'm going to get a nice image. So I'm just going to stick that on like this. And I'm going to let it dry for the time it takes me to close my ink pad. 
And thanks, the doohickey turned out well, didn't it, Joyce? And thank you, Judy. Now I'm gonna take my scissors of the paper snip variety, and I'm going to cut this out. Now, in the directions, I'm not. I'm just gonna say basic white sentiment. I'm not gonna tell you how big it is because you cut it what you need it to be. You don't need to measure, just kind of cut it straight on all four sides, about equal distant from the sentiment, like that. This is not difficult fussy cutting at all. Try to make it straight, which actually is the hardest thing on the planet for me. I'm just gonna tidy that little piece right there up. There we go. And then it's going to go right here. So it's gonna take one dimensional and a little bit of liquid glue. You guys know when I say use a dimensional and liquid glue on my blog, I mean, put the dimensional where it needs to be and the glue where it needs to be to deal with the layers of your card, okay? When you have multiple layers on a card, you have to kind of make up, make up spaces with your dimensionals. And that's what I'm doing here. So I have a dimensional here and I have liquid glue here and it's gonna adhere to the banner. And I'm gonna straighten up my card front like so, like so, and put it on as suchly. Okay, and that's the sentiment. So the very last thing I'm going to do is add some adorable resin stars in Poppy Parade. And I'm gonna put three on each side because three is a golden number because it's odd. And yes, there will be six, but it will be odd on each side. And I'm using a couple of smalls and a big. Aren't these so cute? I love them. Have I mentioned how much I love Poppy Parade? I really, really do. And these stars, stars can be red. Haven't you heard? Red star? No. Yeah, red star like that. Okay, and there's our card front. So let's go ahead and do our innards. I've got just a piece of basic white. It's kind of long, which is good since, you know, the whole card is kind of long. And I am going to stamp, hooray. So this now becomes a congratulatory card, right? It doesn't say congrats anywhere on it, but it is a congratulatory card. If it's cut too straight, it won't match Kitty Wampus, right? Exactly, exactly. And actually, you know, just remember, it's not Hallmark, it's a handmade card. So if it is a little bit cattywampus, that's okay too. What's gonna happen? Do you think your recipient is gonna go, you know, this was a really cool card until I took my micrometer and checked your sentiment and I discovered it was crookedy and I didn't like it and so I threw it away. No, that's never gonna happen. So I'm stamping this in evening evergreen in the middle of my very long piece of basic white. Okay, and then I'm going to take my, wait a minute, I'm cleaning that off because randomly I just realized that that was yucky. And I'm going to take and I'm gonna stamp some of the uh, little spot thingies, the little splotchy hoo-hahs in Bumblebee. And I'm going to stamp it kind of next to the sentiment in these corners like this. And then I'm gonna take my stars. And I'm gonna stamp them in Poppy Parade. A couple on each side preferably without rocking the boat and making a huge mess, like so. Okay, now let me get my envelope out since I've got everything handy right now. Everything is out, everything is handy. Ah, and I got a little bit of ink there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a different one. I'll probably fix that one, but I'm gonna use a different one for this card so that I don't, maybe I am. I might be out of white. Nope, I've got one white. Good thing, or I'd have had to clean that one off, wouldn't I? Okay, so let me do my um, bumblebee. Thanks, Marsha. And I'm gonna put some bumblebee in each of the corners 
like so. And I'm turning it around so I'm not stamping the same image twice. So did you see that? I kind of flipped it just so it gives a little bit more, you know, a little more something, something. And then again with the stars. And I'll stamp twice in each corner like that. And hopefully we're done stamping because I feel myself getting a little bit sloppy with the ink. <laughs> and we don't want that. Nobody wants that. Okay, with my envelope out, I'm going to go ahead and fix my flap. You don't have to on this one. I hereby give you official permission to not decorate your envelope flap because it has a little decoration on the inside. But, you know, I mean, it takes like two seconds to put a little piece of the Hey Sports Fan DSP on there. And now you've got all the colors of the sports rainbow right there, and it's just a quick little fussy cut. Is it a little more difficult fussy cut than a normal envelope? Yeah, but in the end, you get a nice scalloped envelope. Yeah, you get a nice scalloped envelope. Like, ooh, almost messed that up. So, okay, so the envelope flap is done. We'll go ahead and adhere our pieces and parts to the inside. I'm sorry, Jean. You're welcome. It's a good little set. It really is. And it's great to give to kids, you know, if they're in little league or medium league or big league, you know, I was thinking as I was making this card, I wish my grandfather was still around. He was a minor league pitcher as a young man. And baseball was his was his thing. It was his passion. And this would have been good. This would have been, if, if he was still around, it would mean that I would never get rid of this set. Even when it retired, it would still stay in my stash. All right, so let's go. I Just so you know, I miss my hand, Eddie. He was a good man. All right, now we'll go ahead and adhere this to the innards. Thanks, Victoria. Hey, Julie. I like slimline cards too. They are a challenge for me to decorate sometimes. So that's good to play outside my comfort zone a little bit. But with the um, advent of the slimline envelopes, that really kind of takes my excuse away. You know what I mean? My excuse always was, well, I really don't have an envelope. Mm, so, you know, what am I gonna do? What are you gonna do? And then we will pop our card front on with some dimensionals, a lot of dimensionals because it's long. So I like to have four up each side. Remember though, I'm really still being quite conservative with my dimensionals because they're, and now look, now I'm gonna really conserve and I'm only gonna go like that. Oh, so only four in the middle. Uh, it was a little joke. It, was, it wasn't that funny. I mean, it was funnier when I was thinking it. Okay. And we'll just pull all of these off. Do, 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 do. What did Mary do? Well, she decovered dimensionals. All right, there we go. Make sure we're right side up. And put this on. Okay, I love this color scheme. Just a little bit of the green and the blue and the red and the yellow, but in not primary blues, reds, and yellows. Because even though this is Knight of Navy, the fact that it's got the wood grain in it tones it down a little bit for me. So it doesn't look quite so much like going back to school, the ABC thing, right? Okay, I hope you like this card. I hope you will consider adding this uh, bundle to your stash if you don't have it already. Don't forget the Hey Sports Fan DSP. And uh, let's see, have a wonderful, wonderful Easter tomorrow. Take a moment to reflect and uh, do say a prayer for the folks that are overseas protecting our country that aren't able to be with their family and friends tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you next Thursday. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks so much, guys. Ta.